Most I will tell Pichu is I told him to wait. <laughs> you always do. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Ah, it's I, well, I, it, I, 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 it's mm. it's mm. called being a decent human, mm. and it's also called being a gentleman. <laughs> no, get this over. Get this get done. All right. Well, I'll just say, hey, I told him to wait. Mm. You not you know not of my pain, my misery. Mm. I do. I just choose to ignore it. Games. But hey, you're the one who want, you're the one who wanted to do this one marathon. You could have easily just skipped this game. <laughs> That's not how it works. It is how it works. People skip games before because they didn't like them. You're bankrupt. So are you. No. Let's get the only good part of the game out of the way. What, the opening? Yep. Is it just it just plays like a normal episode of Spongebob at the beginning. Which I mean, the reason they changed just the uh, voices of the kids in the chorus. I never understood that. That's fine. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, good. I'm not ready. Well, well, I told you to wait and look what happened. Yeah. <laughs> we missed no gameplay. Yep. <laughs> Probably. I get a copyright claim. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you just missed like the entire conversation we were having. He was getting anxious at the start, and I told him to wait for you. But then he, but then right as he's about to hit record, he, you popped in. So you have great timing. Oh, well, since now we're just starting the game, uh, shall we start with everybody's uh, stories of? Uh, when they when they tried out this game, or at least how they got it. Should I hate have, this game! Should oh, we I'm have, sorry, I jumped ahead. Should, yeah, should we have Will go first? I get my Will go first. I'll go last. What was, your, what was your experience? Like, when did you get this game? Tell us. Great storytelling. Squidward! Good! It'll help if you have if you get to go. Well, that's an oval! It has to be a circle! I hate this game! But no, seriously, Will, tell us of your history with this game. Oh, what a silly dream. No, Mr. tell us now. We're all doing the storytelling right now. Like that Activate the, 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 the special effects for a flashback. Yeah, you have to wait for the start. Yeah, have to wait for the transition. Now I wonder where Gary is. I should probably walk him before I go to work. You see, it all started when Will was just a young warthog. You're not wrong. <laughs> no, seriously, tell us. So, I was... I think it was close to when I first got my PlayStation 2. And, uh, I went over to a friend's house and they were playing, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I said, oh, cool, that, that was a cool game, can't wait to try it out. Of course, I didn't get it at the time, and I don't have it. So Naive Me went to a flea market and said, oh, look, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. It's a bunch about game, it'll be good. <laughs> it was not good. Oh, the horrors and hells that await me. I could not get past World 2. <laughs> and I didn't pick it up again for years. So when did you pick it up again? I want to say... Six years later? That's not specific. I need a specific year. You can't just say, I got bro. the game as a kid. Six years later, I beat the game. And I, I did... And oh my god, I hate it ever since. Can you look at the Flying Dutchman the same way ever again? No! I didn't think so. Well, actually, Andrew, that's a good question. I can't look at him because this is not canonical to the SpongeBob uh, cartoon. Most games aren't. 
I think I have a lot of callbacks. Facts. While I'm semi -naked. I can't Anywho. wait now. Where did I leave Anywho, my, my backstory. Uh, this was, I want to say, somewhere between around... I, it was one about Christmas time. Like, past 2000. Good I want to say it was like in 2002 or 2003, I, I want to say. Because, uh... Not only oh, this was where we got say. our first you Sony console being a PlayStation 2, but... Me and my siblings, really we not happen? only did we uh, each get our own PlayStation 2 game, but we also but we also got our own colored love Whoa, lamps. That really is Who is the unlucky soul that got well, Flying Dutchman? Go so, I had Kingdom Hearts 1 as my first PS2 game. Oh, my great. brother got what was, I think, Lord of the Rings 2, the, uh, the, uh, the two, two Towers. towers. Don't you think you're I'm going to say Twin Towers because like to <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. Yeah, I, guess. <laughs> I actually still own that game to this day, but anyway. Um, um, my other President cousin got a Need for Speed game. I don't know if that's a good number, I just a Need for Speed game. I know the uh, other the one of another one, which you I think was my uncle, he got a wrestling game. Did you, Gary? Oh. Now my cousin, on, who I go who I think of her as my dearly beloved sister, uh, she got the revenge of flying Dutchman. And to oh, be no. fair, here's the here's the trick joke. The game worked fine. Well, there was nothing time, wrong with it. Hmm, it wasn't on until it. at one says, point when one of our one of my uh, uncle's brothers came over with means. his kids. Well, maybe we should see one moment of uh, his son sort of ran over past when the court oh, and the console bill. What the console still works fine. I still have it underneath my bed, so it's just for FYI. I can still plug it right now, and I can play any game with ease. Just what I always wanted. For some a reason, the SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, we anytime we go to an it. an Here area, it there's a chance that the loading screen section would go back to the reading Who disc. Summons me from my endless huh. slumber. Oh, As in, you have to click on the disc to start the game. For dessert, for I am the Flying Dutchman. So because of that, we couldn't, that. we were never Just able to be right Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. We'll we tried to replay back as so much as we could. Silence. The farthest and to the most I can think of is during again. the Jellyfish speed. That is how far we've gone. The way the game reacted to the PS2 falling, that sounds like some creepypasta now, shit. I'm not gonna lie. And yet, and again, this PlayStation 2 console still works. It is not broken, it's not buzzing. And we tried, like, hmm. figuring out what was going on without being at another SpongeBob, but that all just also didn't work. The so it made me almost, it made me want to believe that the first disc we got was five. Well, I ain't never been out to see but for some reason, because of that, that was the one time the only disc just got so screwed up. That any time the bugging is low, they would just do that. It was fine before it happened. It was not me who found you. Gary's the one who dug you. you accidentally uncovered a curse. That's a relief. This little bird can do ten times. Wow, y'all are so y'all are so much different than mine. Mine's not nothing super bad, but I think it's kind of bad. Alright, so um, I got so in terms of me. I first now, got the game after about like a year, I want to say a year after I got my PS2 with my copies of Wrath of Cortex and Enter the Dragonfly, God forbid my soul. <laughs> um, I got the game from a friend who didn't want it anymore, and he told me I could just take it, so I took it. And um, when I tried popping it into the, uh, the PS2, it wouldn't read it for the, the fucking life of it. So I told him it wouldn't read it, and he said it's been working fine, it's brand new, and he hasn't scratched it. I looked at the disc, yeah, he was correct, there was no scratches. So one night, I got bored, uh, I said, before I go to bed for school, uh, I'm gonna play Flying Dutchman. The game popped in and it worked. Only problem is, when I loaded up everything, the character models didn't load in. Of a big, bad no matter judgment. what I did, no matter how many times, no matter how many times my uncle came and cleaned the console, no matter how many times I reset this game and shit, none of the models loaded in. And I physically could not play the game. <laughs> so that's about it. <laughs> so first, welcome to the SpongeBob Marathon. Welcome and second, 
Sorry. <laughs> I swear, like, this game is cursed. <laughs> I'm telling you guys. I made the, a joke. The, the sick twist is that to this day, like, I still, like, don't have a biggest hatred like everybody else does. Like, I still, I still enjoy this game to the spider too. Like, to be fair, this being on the PlayStation 2, this quality right here, this isn't the half bad, let's be fair. No, I agree. And, and the stuff we on. have, and the stuff we got for it, is something that you could argue makes up as to what we would later get for, say, Battle of Bikini Bottom. Your wish can easily Battle of Bikini Bottom is just better or wrong. So it's like between in terms right of its pros and cons. Must stop. When you have mm -hmm. the correct ticket, jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. Just a, just a damn shame I could not play the game when none of the models load in. So, what makes this game special, since I'll be the, uh, the eye viewing of everybody else, is that, uh, really this is a sort of a mixed much. platformer game of a 3D me. adventure, but you not in the similarness to something like, say, Sly Cooper or, or uh, any of the sort of, like, the Banjo Kazooie's. They kinda, you kinda have what is sort of a to-do list, while at the same time a main story thing to do as well. That is no ordinary letter tile. It is a clue. Such as collecting all the letters of your name, sadly, you don't get a one-off. you have enough clues to find a hidden tile. There ain't no Donkey Kong Country, sorry. Uh, well, I just said Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page there. Okay? Not okay, not okay. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. But I think work. I want to see yeah, the start button, there, as it says, will thing. have your to-do list of what you should technically be doing no. in terms of for the actual no, that's story. Too bad. That's too bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Ah, but there is. You can get up there if you try. As for your uh, health button, point, your health point is your pants. I can't work this any better, people. Ball, Take this out of context of what you will. A real buddy would I mean, Battle Bikini Bottom was underpants. Uh, and better. if you lose enough, you will slowly have a SpongeBob in his uh, underwear. Remove like the underwear, problem. game over. There's a big thingy on your thingy. Essentially. They're kind of, in a, in a, to compare it to a better game, it's like Sparks in Spire of the Dragon, where he changed colors and then eventually just disappear. Except in this case, if SpongeBob just loses his pants, he's just dead. Oh, it's the best way I can describe it, as his pants are basically Sparks the Dragon fly. You know, maybe it isn't as bad as I could proclaim it, but... Just me not being able to beat it for so long, and... It clouds you. Oh, and uh, she mentioned us in FRI. I believe you can just save but automatically on your menu. When it moves. I believe so. Do you I think so. Um, because, but because if I recall correctly, yeah, I highly advise in case if you have the similarities like I do, save every time before you go to a new loading area. Yes. So, if I can say real quick, there are a lot of reasons why I don't like this game, and I think it mostly has to do with. Uh, the developers of the game, even though THQ published it, um, the developers, Big, uh, I think it was Big Sky Entertainment, um, this was only their second game. After this game, they went bankrupt. What was their other game? A Jimmy Neutron movie tie-in. Oh, like that, like the Yeah, this game was apparently so bad, it came to developing studio after only two games. So when you say movie tie-in, you mean like the Jimmy Neutron movie they showed in theater? Uh huh. It, it was the only movie at the time, so yes. I just needed to clarify, just, just cause. Oh, yeah, just remember, I, this was this was like early 2000. Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't say something that sounds stupid. <laughs> um, but there are plenty. Like you could tell, like this was kind of the starter of a new developer because. They cut a lot of corners in a lot of things, if I'm to be perfectly honest. And you can tell. It's kind of like that whole documentary they made about Bubsy 3D where the developers had never made a 3D platformer game in their life. They've made point-and-click adventure games. Hello, Telltale. Yeah, essentially. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch, says the one person let's play a Telltale game series. But here's the thing, to be fair, like, I'm not trying to harp Telltale, but, like, it makes it sad how, like, they want to stand out, 
but that they only do that as that sort of gameplay, which again, to be fair, it's not a bad thing. But just like there's only so few and so far you can do until you slowly get bored of the same stick over and over. And yeah, and just as an FYI, any tent you go to, you can change the costumes, but I think some you have to unlock in certain areas just to get the others. You have a Jellyfish Spongebob, you have Mermaid Spongebob, and also I believe the last one is the Reef Blower. Yep, and this is the costume I'm mostly going to spend the game on, because... Oh boy! Every costume has their own strengths and weaknesses. The reason for the Jellyfish in it obvious. Hey, I wonder what Spongebob likes to do on um, one of his hobbies. Nah, the ankle's a big business. No, uh, but the, <laughs> good, the usefulness of the jellyfish uh, Spongebob gear is that you can slightly hover. Which is always a bonus. Which helps a lot. Oh, Mr. Krabs warned me about playing hooky. Uh, Chester has a question. So has fun. anyone here played the Jimmy Neutron Blue looking. Skies game? I have not. Uh, is that the Attack of the Tonkies? No, the, the, this is the movie tying game. Oh, oh, the, all the, all the movie tying game. Oh, no. I yeah, I, I haven't even seen it, to be honest. To be honest, this is kind of the first time I'm really hearing of it. If I'm completely honest. I have never touched a single Jimmy Neutron game, so sadly no. I've only played well, Attack uh, the, the interesting, Tonkies. The interesting thing is, uh, for those who don't know, this game was developed at the same time as Battle for Bikini Bottom. Take like, that the two games people. were being developed at the exact same time. That's and, let us, and let us reiterate, the fact that both those games were made at the same time, it's more interesting how people preferred Battle over Bikini Bottom over this, despite how they were made exactly at the same time. Oh no, Bob from Kingdom Bob is way better. I'm sorry. No, no, I would like, disagree with you there. No, but like, uh, I'm just doing it from a statistical standpoint. How you have two games made at the same time, but yet both of them, you could say, equally are bad. But yet, in terms of which is the better enjoyment, it's always Battle of the Kingdom Bottom over this. Oh, Bob from yeah. Kingdom Bottom is way more charming than this game. This game is. Oh. I mean, I don't see Fly. I don't see Revenge of the Flying Dutchman getting remastered, do you? Oh, hey, oh! We need to we need to do a signing petition. We gotta get this beauty of a gem back. That's like asking them to remake Sonic 06. Do you really want that? Uh the fans are already doing that, Andrew. Fuck. Uh remake the story that is Shadow the Hedgehog. Nah. It actually makes sense. Nah, it describes Sonic according to, according to the developers, it makes sense to us Americans because we're Western and Western audience. We like guns and edgy violence. Now, if it wasn't obvious of what Will did earlier, he caught himself a certain colored jellyfish. Each colored jellyfish has like a certain thing of how you're supposed to catch them. So, if you saw the blue, the old blue jellyfish was just a one in time thing, no, you gotta see multiple old blue jellyfish. Alright, after. Jellyfish. All right, after let's so to explain what's going on, this is a SpongeBob game. It's kind of a platformer like collectathon sort of thing. That's all I can really tell you. And it's also garbage. It's bad! It features Spongebob characters and such. See, <laughs> I look at this game also, and it reminds me of... It, Enter the Dragonfly, where you had to catch the dragonflies with bubble breath. Yeah, but too bad the bubble hit detection was as wonky as my attitude. Hey, can we just say it's funny how they made Spyro use bubbles of all things before Mitsune appears in Monster Hunter Generations? Okay, so... <laughs> if I can take like, time to explain like this that. real quick. This is your to-do list like Pichu mentioned. There's nine, nine uh, things to do in each section. You have to do them in order to find the main goal. Uh, they give you a general idea, but unlike Battle for Bikini Bottom, you can't teleport to any of the tiles. You have to do that yourself. So. Uh. Which, yeah, every collectible is pretty much mandatory in this game. Every single one. Hey. Okay, no, we're I good. <laughs> I was gonna have a heart attack right there. I God forbid that's what you need. Hey, Sorry, I'm so every time a loading screen bubble happens, 
I get a bit of a slight worriness that something is going to happen. And you're going to go to your reading disc. All right, so while we're on topics of something like that, has this game ever crashed on you, Will, if you can remember? Uh, like crashed? Yeah, like you, you were playing and then the game just fucking sucked. Uh, for jam frog, can SpongeBob run any faster? If Will does the, uh, where SpongeBob is just crouch rolling a lot, yes. That's the closest thing to how fast he can run. Afterlife, if you go through, uh, PS2 Man channel here, yes, he is the man who does the SGB highlights. These loadings are going to terrify me. It's okay, Pichu. Now you know my pain. <laughs> it's it's okay. okay. <laughs> Pichu, calm down, it's okay. Oh no, it's a bully! Get him! Also, well, off topic, uh, Pichu, I have unlocked another Deviant. Oh boy. Remember how we were talking about Hellblade Glavinus? Uh, so, why are you catching jellyfish? There is a collection needed for some of the jellyfish. I forget, I, I wanna, I kinda forget if you kinda need to get all of them in each area, but I remember that in the jellyfish fields, I think one of the to-do is was to catch all of them, but for some reason we couldn't find them all. Oh, no, okay. That mission in jellyfish fields is a jerk. Oh my, oh, that's one of the areas I got stuck in during my replay. I hated myself when I realized what you actually had to do. And it's so, so much what... easier than you think. <laughs> it's so uh, much easier than you think. Eat all 120 power stars of flying Bowser and Super Mario 64. Uh, more like collect all the shine sprites just to even fight Bowser in his weird hot tub shit. Mario, how dare you interrupt my family vacation? So what happens when you get all of your to-do list? You get a weird what the fuck mini game. And I don't get its purpose. It's like one unnecessary step. It's like take it's like trying to walk forward but you end up tripping over a random crack. So how many of you remember uh the second the uh well, I think it was the uh third episode or something like that, which is introduction to Plankton? Yeah, you get to see inside SpongeBob's brain. Sadly it's not what you think it is. Oh we're you fucking control SpongeBob to take him to take the Krabby Patty to the the Chum Bucket. That episode where he calls yeah. Squidward a mediocre clarinet player. Mediocre? <laughs> he fucking paints. <laughs> what a bitch. The game looks decent at least. Uh... Mm, SpongeBob looks like he wants to off himself. I'm not gonna lie. He does not. Look, he looks like he's in severe <laughs> pain. <laughs> Oh, what do you see Plankton? I know what Plankton looks like, Will. He looks just as bad. <laughs> I'd say not as bad as Mrs. Puppet Bell Bikini Bottom. Oh my god, dude. Every time I looked at her, like, her fins would, like, clip in and out of her model. I'm like, Mrs. Pup, you okay? You need a, you need a chocolate milk? Alright, everyone, who's up for treasure hunting? Um, If there's no Indiana Jones reference, I'm going to be sad. Wait. As for why this outfit, I have no idea how to explain. All you're doing is just finding a treasure based on the uh, minigame that you did. In yeah, your he brain. he's just like jumping on a stick to find treasure, if I remember right. I'm not looking at the screen. I think it's a, supposed to be a dowsing rod, but he's using it as a pogo stick. Alright, well, I just uh, anyway, tuned in. The treasure's right there, but I'm going to explain. So, the minigame reveals the location of the treasure. If you remember the map, you should be fine. But if you don't, you can press square to use your divining rod, and it'll point you towards the direction of the treasure. Uh, so basically, the go find the treasure. Who fucking knows? They want to bring back the mod. Who knows? Who fucking cares? By the way, um, why are we collecting the treasures? Uh, yeah, that doesn't get explained until the third world. Came because the game said so. Actually, they do. It's just treasure. Yeah, the literally. To be the Dutchman. Yeah, literally. Ah, uh, yes, remember when the Dutchman had a sock? And it was yeah. this smelly. Yeah, and he just puts it on a little ghost tail. I think it didn't he name the sock at one point or not? 
The dining sock? No, I don't think so. I'm, it's somewhat explained, but never in full detail. I don't remember 100%. Your, re your reward is a crusty JPEG. <laughs> exactly. No use fighting it. Your fate's been decided. And for every time we grab a treasure chest, a cutscene happens. Where a Dutchman gets to take one of his Spongebob's many friends. Not Gary. Anything but Tom Kenny. Oh, hey, Tom Kenny. I, I can comfortably say I've never played a Spongebob game. Just see me as as someone who adds your view count by one. You've never played a Spongebob game after life? Did you never have a childhood? Are you okay? You, no, no, no. Ouch! You're, you're okay. You're okay. You're a good person. You stayed away from the police. <laughs> there's a, there's a couple decent Spongebob games. Again, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Creature from the Krusty Krabs kind of in the middle. Yeah, but... In a fairness, not everyone would get the hypeness to always play any like video game that they see from their cart from their favorite cartoons. Oh, I'm not blaming. Her. I was just joking around. Um, I was trying to save my thoughts on rehydrated for when we actually get to Battle for Bikini Bottom, but it looks good so far. From I what they honestly can't wait. From what little they showed off, it looks all right. I, I just want to wait till we see more. The movie game. Oh yeah, I forgot they made a game based on the movie. Um, the game was okay. In my opinion, anyway. So nice I'll be uh, doing that after Battle for Bikini Bottom. Squidward, we have eight games to go through. You won't believe what just happened to me and Gary. Oh, this is bullshit. I don't have time for another one of your what if they remake this tales? game and made it worse? Uh, yeah, that the E called the putting it on the Xbox. Right away, so he can tell us the the Xbox news. version of the game. Oh the my news? God, it's Maybe abysmal. You know, you know how Wrath of Cortex had the worst loading times on the X on the PS2, but had better on the game. Cube and Xbox. This is the reverse. And also, the models were a lot choppier. From what I've heard, anyway. The loading times in the Xbox and whatever else this was released on besides the PS2 were abysmal. People say. People say. People say the PS2 version is the, the best one, in quotes. Yeah, thinking back to rolling, you could almost say it's somewhat faster, but it's kind of at the same running speed. It's practically the same pace. It's it's no roll. It's no spamming the roll button in Legend of Zelda going across Hyrule Field. Mm -mm. These loading <sighs> screens are gonna terrify me. Just for you. I'm just waiting for that reading this to pop Once in. Again, we see that more <laughs> oh look, it's one of the few Spongebob games and Clancy Brown actually gave his more holes voice for. In your head means less stays inside of it. Yeah, because right, Clancy Brown doesn't even jabber. voice Mr. Krabs in Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's some other twat. Yeah, he doesn't. Lately, so I'm gonna shut down the crusty I don't think he even voices them in Atlanta Square Pantus. I, I know, odd point, down but... Uh, I don't know. Clancy Brown's the hardest to get for Spongebob games. Um, last I played, I had the Lance Square Pantus on the PS2. Um, I didn't make it very far, but I don't remember his voice actor either. I remember it was really not good. Now for the uh, subplot of this game. Yes, this actually has a subplot. The Krusty Krab is uh, losing business. Why? Eh, find out later. Should have should have lost business a long time ago. Have you Business seen the show? Crabs? Why do you think our business is so slow? No, no, no. no. no Here's the real argument. What the hell is Plankton doing with his, to in terms home. of keeping his stationary? Too bad we can't move the crusty crab into <laughs> What stationary? SpongeBob. Like if both of these technically have that? a land that they have to pay rent, how the hell is, is Plankton paying oh, shit for crab? anything? That's fair, because Chumbuck gets a little to nothing in terms of business. I went to college! <laughs> I went to college! That don't fucking pay your bills, Plankton. Alright, now we got the downtown uh, bus pass, which means we can go downtown. Andrew, it's pronounced twat! I don't know if I still mispronounce that. Sorry, Chester. What was I hunting again? Oh yeah, Rathalos. Plankton doesn't rent the land, he owns the land. The same could be said for Mr. Krabs in terms of his stationery. Well, they also had a, they also had, um, they mentioned the, uh, the whole thing at one point in, like, a later season episode where they had those uh, fucking... 
kelp yeah. shakes. No, to be fair, pretty sure has a point, cause uh, in this game, Plankton's chum bucket is right behind some toxic sludge. Yeah, the... and, it, and yet here's the funny joke is that in the one of the bad episodes, in like at least one bad episode, and then the other one being the good episode where both of them had like health inspectors, so to speak. It makes it funny how that the health in you don't get a, an episode where that the health inspector actually has to mess with the chum bucket. No, he just goes to the Krusty Krab and just ignores the chum bucket's existence. Like the fuck, dude. Plankton shouldn't be allowed to be given the slip. All right, world two, and where I got stuck, downtown okay. Bikini Bottom. Which means we better so save. This is downtown Bikini Bottom. How will I ever find Mr. Hope you're ready for that, Will, because Peach is gonna be on you like that, like a fucking. Oh my god. Oh, well, just these loading screens are just gonna be the one that's gonna give me more PTSD. Over here. <laughs> you just I don't got it. downtown being so dark. This isn't your average everyday darkness. This is advanced darkness. You finally made it, lad. Between you and me and this So the gimmick of the no downtown world now. is Just that exactly you have to help plan, Mr. Krabs Krab deliver Krabby it's patties like to said, somebody's Spongebob. house. If no one wants to and leave this home, downtown is kind of like a big to them. I'm talking about food delivery. Not as maze like as say Kelp Forest in Battle of the Deep Bottom. And get to all our customers before it's too late. There might I'd argue the Kelp Forest is worse. This sounds like fun, Mr. Krabs. Great. This delivery is to a single location. So, rem so remember the location uh, Mr. Krabs gives you. That's why you have to take it in the time limit. And yes, there's a time limit. See, I, 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 I hear get somewhere in the time limit, and part of me thinks of that mission from Jack 2 where you had to get to the racing stadium in three minutes, and how the driving controls in that game are awful. Yeah, literally. Oh, never mind. There isn't a time limit. That's not until later. Yeah, that's literally the same reaction I have every time I have to do that fucking mission. Alright, so in each world, you have two necessary conditions to meet every time. You have to uh, collect, I think, 50 doubloons and a certain amount of jellyfish. Honestly, just collect all the jellyfish you can. Trust me on that. I forget if the enemies respawn here or not in downtown. I don't remember. Right, 13. Oh, good! Changing tent! Quickly, change costumes. Hello, DoorDash. <laughs> literally, it's DoorDash. I get DoorDash. It's literally... I get DoorDash to your Grubhub. <laughs> to Uber Eats. So, wait, that's a bad one. Darn it! Oh, hi, Rathalos. You just kind of popped in out of nowhere. I don't like that. So, I'm going to take time to collect jellyfish if you don't mind. Go for it. We got, we got time. Uh, say, so basically for jellyfish, uh, pink it goes in a set pattern, blue goes away from you, yellow uh, goes towards you, and green you have to sneak on. Those are the only four types of jellyfish you'll ever have to worry about. Hopefully Will does a decent job of getting a lot of them. We'll have to see though. Although, honestly, I'm not too worried about collecting the tiles here, because you can't even, uh, complete this world until you get a certain costume, and that's not until later in the game. Ah, yes. You can't finish a level on 100% the first go until you get X thing. No, that's not where I got stuck, though. I'll show you where I get stuck on later. Oh, I didn't say that's where you got stuck. I was just bringing up the point. It's still bullshit when it happens, though. Oh, and uh, some doubloons will rise out of uh, green, smoggy areas. So wait there if you want more doubloons. By the way, I don't know if you get something for 100% in the game, I'm not gonna do it. A postcard! <laughs> the Flying Dutchman's other crusty sock. The Merman costume? Nope. The fourth costume, the Reef Blower. What are you looking at, Thals? 
Alright, I gotta find Mr. Krabs again. I lost him. Nice guy. How do you lose your manager? I told you this was a maze. The best hint I can say is look at the numbers if that helps. Oh look! It's an evil snail. <laughs> evil. Uh, every villain is lemons. Otherwise, actually, when do no? I don't even have to worry about it. You know why? Death. <laughs> Brings you right back to the bus stop, and Mr. Krabs. Death, take me away. Ready for the next delivery, Mr. Krabs. Whisk me away to the land of the dead. Oh, no, don't worry about lives. There aren't any lives in this game. Workers. Yeah, but they still give you a life meter anyway. Alright, now our construction site. Remember, kids, you can't get lost if you don't go anywhere. To the person playing Monster Hunter, are you playing World? No, I'm playing Generations Ultimate. I'm playing World. Eventually. No. Nah. <laughs> even then, the even then, I'll, so I'll the probably be the one. I'll probably end up being the one helping him anyway. I offered. No. Yes. No. Yes. My rules. No. Alright, uh, first His thing stream. you gotta do, take the yeah. order, go right to Patrick. Like, an actual, like, Crusty Crab, like, take out that. I think it's, there's a couple yeah, episodes with them. A, minute, a few do, but it's not something like this. You may um, look kind of like a paper bag and see it at Um, yeah. there's a time limit for delivering food in the fourth section. Have you lads play Ice Form? I think I'm. I like to think I'm not the bad hunter. Uh, I finished Ice Form. No! What makes you think I don't play Ice Form? Well, to be fair, I don't think this this individual knows any of us and what we play, so. I mean, I finished Ice Form's story and I'm just going through all the rest of the shit. Astalos, I do not need right. you here right now. We have the Murray Man costume, but I'm not changing into it yet. I'm gonna throw some rocks. The uh, mermaid costume is just you have slight superpowers and that's it. And it has the best music in the game. Out of curiosity, what weapon do you use in World there Afterlife? Hmm? In the afterlife. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh yeah, I should say one of the flaws of this game. The music is um isn't linked to the world all the time. The music is linked to the costumes you have. So, since you need to fish here all the time, guess what theme you're gonna be hearing for about 80% of the game? This one. Did I just see lag? I love the Marine Man theme in this game. It is by far the best theme in the game. And I died to a puddle! I managed to get your my MR of 200 plus. Hey, nice. But, uh, what weapon do you use? Ow. I'm asking out of curiosity. Away! So, the Mermaid Man costume it allows you to throw these bubbles. That's it! Bubble rings? Nope, just bubbles. Damn, thought it'd be like a Batman reference. No, just bubbles. I'm not too worried about the uh, tiles, but this is the one I want to get right now. Perfect. All right. Um, there is a section later where I have to use Marine Man uh, costumes, so I'm gonna do that first before I do uh, any orders. You change, you change weapons depending on the monster you're fighting, but 
what weapons do you like to use, though? Unless you're saying you use all of them. I mean, if you use all of them, then there, then that's fine. But that takes up a lot of space in your inventory. <laughs> Speak now, or forever hold your hunter title. Whatever it is. I died! Oh no, I think I have to. Yeah, I have to. Oh, oh god! Oh, I forgot how slow this game is. Ah! Okay, he uses a charge blade, insect blade, longsword, bow, and the dual blades. Where did he say that? I love Chester's comment. Speak now, forever hold your rare drops. Where Where did he say that? I don't see it. Oh, he said it. I, I literally don't see the comment, I'm blind. I think he might have done it on purpose, so I have no idea. Alright, here it is. So you gotta hit the, uh... You gotta hit the red dials over here. That's what you gotta do. I'm oh, glad now you figured that out. <laughs> no, I just didn't get there. Is it worth it? Well, I'm certainly have to collect every single one. But now I'm not done with the Burmy Man costume, I'm going back to the fishing pier. I find it, I feel bad that you are just killing these construction workers and it's like, they're not even attacking you. They're just doing their fucking job. They just kind of exist. <laughs> they're intimidating. They just look like Larry Lobster except blue. Uh -huh -huh. Funny you mentioned Larry, uh, Larry the Lobster. I don't know. That's not till later, though. Oh. We don't get to live Much like later. Larry. Like, we don't uh, get to world... I wanna say... Five or six. We don't get to live like Larry for a long time. Uh, that's kind of the general gist when it comes to your ultimate Sir Afterlife, because the moment you get to G rank, that's when you have to slowly start everything from scratch, but with the fun twist, and now you get the G rank armor. Oh, sorry, let me do it as what World likes to call it Master Rank, even though it's still technically Oh, I realize why I didn't see the comment. I have I have top comments on only when it should be live comments. I'm fucking Making up pain in the ass, what do you guys think of Rage? Uh, I'm already still having some slight trauma in Gen Ultimate. Um, I beat him my first try. God knows how I did it, but I did it. <laughs> And it started I'm an argument die. with, and it started with an argument with somebody over Twitter about it. Goes and you know, you know, goes to show you how that went. At this point, I have, I and think let's, I have. Let's be fair, you did this by yourself. I did do it by myself. Which is not to harp on you, because again, like I'd be jealous of you. Will was there. Chester was there. But yep. even then, like, I, it's not really, like, despite if people, like, talk shit on us, like, really, people, guys. We all know how bad 
Rajang is, but uh, let's uh -huh. be fair. This is normal Rajang that Andrew is fighting. I don't know uh, if they I should mention to you, since, crew, since you are working on your Jet Ultimate. Yeah, there's still... And I imagine Furious Rajang if he's even in this game. High rise apartments, here we go. I mean, I mean, when when we unlocked, when I unlocked Hyper Monsters, I mean, Hyper Kezu was a success, but that's a Kezu, that's not Rajang. But, um. Yeah, uh, but in Gen Ultimate, there is a Hyper Rajang, so, uh. Yeah, I'll get to it eventually. I say is don't do that by yourself. Bet. Okay, I'll hold your beer. <laughs> I already showed you the fact of how badly do you want to take on a Hyper Plesioth by yourself. Well, I don't think I have Hyper Plesioth unlocked yet because I only had the few options. I do, and you. I can let you do Make it. Sure to visit both buildings. God, that head check's gonna one-hit kill me. I can feel it already. <laughs> okay, high-rise apartments. Ugh. All right, Will. Tell us. Tell us everything you, you hate about this You gotta go to each level. apartment building to complete all three assignments. And if you fall, you're gonna fall hard. Not in the game. And way. if I recall correctly, if you fall, you lose a life. No matter uh, like what height you're on. No, if you lose a life, you die, and you have to start from the beginning. Again, no lives in this game. No, 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 Will. I'm saying like any area that you're on. Oh. I'll happily hunt with you guys at some point. I think my HR is 480-ish and my MR is 202. Uh, my MR is almost 100 at this point, and I want to say my HR is nearing 200. I, I've been playing other things, so I'm not as high ranked as you are. Um, procrastination is like art. Go get there eventually. I and faith. by that, I mean the next... The next hunt I have to do is... Besides Will screaming. <laughs> you have a <laughs> uh, so what is your next hunt? Continue. Um... Uh, shit. Um... Pookie Pookie subspecies. Ah, Coral Pookie Pookie. Fuck him. I hate him. Especially since I went at it with a bow with no way to fucking block his shit, so I kept getting water blade every two seconds. Start. And uh, just a skull like where you're Andrew. What? <laughs> I saw that. Don't care how you die from me. I didn't. I didn't right, see it. What did, what did it? What did it? What did it say? Uh, speaking of procrastination, how's the empty a lot? <sighs> Chester, buddy. Let me tell Department you something. One. That's also on the other building. Chester, let me tell you something. Shut up. I'll get you to mean, an event. You mean you don't want to do No, it's not that I don't, but it's a mixture of several other things. Procrastination, again, being one of them. The other things being personal. One cool off for the HR boost. Yeah, all right. So while we're on the top of a Kulov, if you want to offer help, can you help me with Kulov tear off? I can't find a group of people that will literally that will willingly do Kulov tear off with me. And just it's for, just for high rank. For any, for high rank or arc tempered, it's, it's annoying. Now just remind me, Afterlife, is Kulov tear off just well, only high rank, or do they have it also in G rank? Have been called in from this neighborhood. Alright, back to the business district. Time for I, the timed challenge. I haven't, I personally haven't seen Kulov in G rank yet, but uh, all I know is, is I think it's still a high rank thing. I don't think they've yet to add G rank Kulov. You all think right. they would, considering they should at least move at least all the Elder Dragons over to G rank? Before that, uh, honestly, I have no drive to play it solo anymore. It's boring as fuck. For, all right, well, here's the, here's the, here's the million dollar question. What do you play Monster Hunter World on? That's the that's the million dollar question. All right, uh, it's starting me back from here. I need a, 
Ah! An arc, an arc tempered Kulavis Hiring Point. PS4? Good. I play on PS4 as well. And so does Peacher. Your first destination as well is 88 I. Albatross Avenue. I saw someone else who looked like a delivery boy. Uh, so here's boy. why it's time. There's been another delivery boy. And, uh, we need to do all four in 240 seconds. Albatross, that's a bird. This way. Afterlife, if you give me a second, I will tell you what my PS... I will tell you what my uh, PSN 98. name is. I just gotta finish what I'm doing. Uh, I need 88, 96. The question is... The real question is, are all of you all worthy to be in my guild? Well, I'm already in your guild, so... So, honestly, here's a really easy thing to know about uh, this challenge in particular. Uh, remember that pothole trick where if you fall on it, you die, you go back to Mr. Krabs? Do that every time. You save yourself a lot of time. Because, yeah, I only just wasted two seconds. See Shop Street. <laughs> It's kind of the a very only way weird, I found to do the challenge the right skip way. travel when you think about it. Hey, no lives. I can get away with it. Chester, if you want, I'll add you to my own guild. 24, 24. 24. Fingers crossed I mean, for cool. All he had to, I mean, all Chester had to do was ask. <laughs> well, that's up to him. He could be a part of multiple 14. guilds if he feels like it. 16. No, he only belongs to me and me alone. I own him. Yikes. What? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, how about Andrew? <laughs> 24. 25. <laughs> so that's right, that is funnier than 24. Alright, next is 10 Stormy Way. I believe the storm clouds are over here. 11, 12. Oh, this is the one time you can actually go to Mr. Krabs right away. Alright, SpongeBob, me boy. SpongeBob, me boy! How is that fry cooking? I can't do it with Mr. Krabs' voice. Sorry, I don't get it. 11 Seashell Street. Alright, last time we're going to Seashell Street. She sells, she sells by the seashore on Seashell Street. Chester, no, don't do it. <laughs> Seven. Wait a minute, Patrick, is that you? What are you doing here? Here's your food. Oh, I'm helping. Patrick, did you just deliver food to my I need customer? help opening this Hiya, SpongeBob. Lid. Are you delivering food? Oh, for some to Mr. reason, Krabs uh, they too? gave uh, Patrick, Patrick white the uh, subtitles when he had purple now, subtitles. Now tell me what you're doing here. You That's think weird. you're the only one who can be a delivery boy? I but found an edit where they take that lid now, scene, too. except he pulls out a it's gun, and SpongeBob's like, Patrick, that's a gun. Yes. So if you'll excuse me, he just starts shooting. Mr. Krabs would have told me. If uh, he I remember hired that time else. when Kirby had a gun. No, there's something definitely funny going on here. Poyo, poyo, motherfucker. Well, that was loud and right in my ear, but okay. Alright, and after this, we are done in downtown Bikini Bottom for the moment. We won't have to come back here until we get the uh, reef blower. Nice work, SpongeBob. I, I still like that whole thing Pat uh, Squidward um, did where he just kind of went on like a rampage with that thing. Be crazy, lad. Why would I hire someone else when I can make you do all the work for nothing? <laughs> but I'll tell you, if someone was cutting into my No, business, but realistically, I'd Chester, I know I need to get back to you, really Zero, on. but I actually have to uh -huh. sit down and figure something out. <laughs> Just make I'll get sure there. You don't get too close, or they'll see that you're following them. Anyhow, I'm gonna pack But I also want to stream the medieval remastered game because it comes out Friday. All right, back to the heat bomb. <laughs> you have to follow Patrick.
Well, we're almost an hour in. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's been an eternity. Doesn't it? There's no better feeling than having a full stomach and me pockets loaded with money. And now for a nice long nap in the office. If it's a long nap you desire, then I can accommodate you. And because we help Mr. Crab so we'll well, right it's Place taken away order. next. You got the wrong idea, crustacean. Flying That's Dutchman's like, hey, you, fuck you, yoink. Then the Dutchman shows him the Flying Dutchman board game. <laughs> oh, it's that episode. <laughs> Rub up those flyers, because I sure am hungry for my leg! Can't you say we're closed? Whatever you want to play that Monster Hunter World, mate. May just give me a show and I'll help I'll help you do whatever. I'll even be a male nurse for you with a wide range of cool ops. So I'll keep you from dying. <laughs> I don't I don't know about keep me from dying. I think my defense will be enough. Luke, <laughs> blue flag. Is your delivery rival. Now is your chance to find out. Who I think I is. think my armor is Don't fine for Kulal Teroth because it's still in high rank and high rank. Okay, so here's the gist of this mission. Patrick's gonna run around. It's your job to follow him, but don't get too close. Yeah, a cell section. Oh, wonderful. And uh, if you saw the hat on his head, you can easily see where he's going. But Patrick takes his sweet time getting there. Why'd you go over Gula Goo? SpongeBob, you can't expect my same brand of stupidity. I like to keep it. I like to mix it up. Keep you on your toes. Honestly, that line makes more sense in this current objective that we're doing right here than it did in the actual episode. Wasn't that the episode where it, it, it was the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy trading card shit? <gasps> Yes. Look, it's Mr. Krabs! I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. He has exhaust pipes on his back. Oh, he's either Bogun or Insect Glaive for the big gold bitch. So I'll have that done before you know it. Also, I appreciate it. This has to be the most pathetic version of Robot Krabs Plankton's ever built. I appreciate it, but I also gotta find the, the time to also sit down and play the game, especially with, like, tomorrow being busy. Ow. Hi, SpongeBob. Are you a worthless lackey too? Now I'm really confused, Patrick. Why would Mr. Anyway, I'm not trying to grind things in Generations Ultimate. Because he's a worthless lackey? Enough! Enough! Silence, you ignorant buffoons! <laughs> Mr. Crowd's on to put himself out of business. Hi, Plankton! Plankton? Of course, you nattering nincompoops. Yeah, this well, this looks like some like first grader tried to a draw fucking robot crabs. Yeah, his model. His eye looks like it's going to stretch out tips, and pop. Your days of impersonating Mr. Krabs are over. You may have won that round, but like, oh my god! But I don't need a disguise to separate your crabby boss from his fortune. I think the worst thing is time zones right and now. It's and here's his latest creation. It's three forty-nine a.m. Jesus! It's only like ten fifty here, or ten fifty p.m. for me. Gee, Shell World. That sounds like a world. I wonder if we're gonna go there. I wonder if it's better than Eggman Rolls on a leash. I pray to God that it is, because the HD version of that level is awful. Oh my God! Uh, fucking what was it? Seventy-five minutes? Forty? I don't. I don't fucking remember. It was okay, really long. Okay, so in order to even get the Chum World, we have to get the pass for Jellyfish Fields. We don't even have the pass for Jellyfish Fields yet. And, uh, by the way, Chum World is one of only two worlds in this game that have world-specific music. Just a- oh, Squirrel's having a yard sale! He's, he's, sell he's selling everything to get the fuck away from Spongebob. I think now's a good time to say it. So I'm having a little yard sale to make a few extra sand dollars. Now leave me alone so I can read my book. What you reading? It's called How to Defeat Evil Spirit, okay? How to Defeat now, Evil Spirits. Squidward, that is so specific it would be your book. That's just what I need. 
he must he, like what do you think the odds are that he knows the flying dutchman is coming around snatching people and he just doesn't fucking say anything to spongebob well then again he doesn't care for the dude but still like i feel like that's a little too subtle <laughs> Hey Squidward, this big acorn sure is making a weird buzzing noise. Acorn? You mean that hive I got from my cousin on the coast? No, I mean this big buzzing acorn in the glass case. I bet Sandy would really Who's like this. Who thinks a hive is oh, an yeah. acorn? I bet your little squirrel friend would really like this. I, uh... Acorn. If it's fair, well. in, 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 in fairness, he doesn't know all the surface stuff. So the real question is, where the hell did Squidward get dollars. that? <laughs> You just found it drifting through the ocean one day. <laughs> 200 sand dollars? Why well, have that and then some? I'm ready to buy this acorn now, Squidward. Well, well, yeah, you have 210 sand dollars. The acorn is yours. I'm sure Sandy will love it. Alright, but first things first, we gotta get the uh, book back. So, sneak. Well, like an all night session on The Witcher 3. Uh. How to defeat evil spirits. Almost, the Flying Dutchman's chapter, chapter eight. 8. The Flying Dutchman. Any poor soul. Convenient. Hmm. So, yeah. Remember how in the show the Flying the Dutchman was, uh, the Dutchman used as a clothing store, uh, mannequin pressures. and is sending revenge items, for being humiliated? This game is just trapped in a bottle. He was alive. Like a genie? And all seven of yep. Those treasures in order to face down the Infinite oh, cosmic power. Infinite cosmic That's power. It. Three wishes? Oh, I wish you would have known that earlier. Alright, okay, now you got two wishes. Three wishes. I thought this would be a challenge. So yeah, that's why we're collecting treasures. By the way, Spongebob doesn't uh, have his eyelids in that one moment seven. of that scene. You noticed that too? Yes. <laughs> okay. Suddenly Sandy. Why is she punching boulders? Those boulders. Karate chopping. Probably... Oh, well, whatever. Karate chop action. From where I was, from where I was sitting, where I was looking, it looked like she was punching. Hiya, but that's because this game's Boy, fucking graphics are you. awful. You won't believe what happened to me. Also, this given morning. when such a close to near Sandy is still, I still think you should probably sit, not yeah, be a good time I to guess save. You could say that. <laughs> well, don't you fret, little varmint. Well, for God's this sake, say. <laughs> just the thing to cheer you up. A good old-fashioned karate match. Just Karate match? When that sounds great! Let me save first. What's saving? Uh... Sandy, that entire sentence that you're speaking sounds oddly threatening. <laughs> I have you a question anyone? for Will Andrew Pichu. Lay it on us, Wolf. What? What happened? I don't know. He hasn't. They haven't taken the question yet. All right, time for a karate match. Not yet. Yes. Who is it? Reminds you of someone, Peter? Are you talking about yourself? Do you think it's weird for someone to get eggnog and play Christmas songs two months early? I don't know. Department stores get ready for Christmas three months early. Uh, villain, I've been working at a grocery store for about eight years. Okay, now listen up, because I'm going to remind you how this all works. I mean, it's We've still weird to a lot of people, to but they got to do it. It's weird for you guys, but it's kind of normal. When the time runs out, is the winner. Just tell me all right, time for one of the only two yeah, times this happens in the game. I'll teach you a few moves. You can press the action button with um, karate chop. Press just the action destroy more options than uh, your opponent, and you win. Press the action button in the air. So, boss fight? Question mark. So, anyone ready? Uh, no. Gonna... Really? Just uh, I'd say, say question mark. A... Say it's more of a mini game. Ow! Sandy, stop Ow. chopping me. Ow. That's what you get. So, anyone excited for Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus? I don't think I'm gonna have the room for it, honestly. I think I might just. I'm. I'm not gonna bother. It I doesn't look just... that interesting to me. Sorry. I'm, I'm at... the new game coming out in November? Ow. Yeah. Do we get to watch Norman? Uh, I know someone who's a big fan of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, so the fact that he's gonna get that game and I'm told we're gonna lose him for the next several weeks. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna mess with him saying, man, I can't believe you're playing this 
a new remake, HD remake of Super Mario World 2. Yeah, your friend's gonna be gone <laughs> for a long time, probably. It's 50 gigs, I do not have the room for that. Oh, so really, this mini game's not that hard, especially with what Will's doing at the best strategy. Just spam that and you're good. Okay, hey, this is a lot more easier than doing the mini game than the uh, crocodile in uh, Banjo Kazooie. I pre ordered Outer Worlds three days early. That's what I did. Except with Monster Hunter World Iceborne, I was so excited I didn't pre order it until two days before it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, am I right? Well, you gotta pre-order early in order to get the bonus materials. Oh, you like a digital poster. For a land I'm a di <laughs> Fuck the physical man stuff, man. I already own a copy of Monster Hunter World Iceborne. It makes sense just to download it digitally instead of having to put a physical copy of Iceborne in instead. But then again, I can understand that was the whole thing with 4, 4 Ultimate, 3, 3 Ultimate, etc. And then you just transfer your shit over. Alright, uh, where is the acorn Spongebob has? Is it back where Squidward had it? You should still be holding on to it. Nope! Here it is! Back where Squidward had it. <laughs> Alright. And what's that? You have to pay for the, for the money again? Nope! Squidward, you fucking cheapskate. Now, Squidward could've just woken up and be like, Spongebob, where's my $200? <laughs> I want my money, man. <laughs> Alright, World 3, Sandy's Dream Dome. Tr Dream Dome? I sped that up. You slurred your words together there, bud. So Sandy's Dream Dome. I don't need it. Sorry. Oh, and uh, don't worry about getting dehydrated. I love visiting Sandy they actually in the Dream Dome. In bikini bottom, yeah. and you worry about dying. Yeah, here it is. There. That's strange. I don't feel as dry as I usually do, and I don't need my helmet at all. <laughs> Where else can you in bikini bottom where you worry about dying from all this air? <laughs> yeah, this is how you avoid, uh, you know, uh, not needing air. What happened in here, Get your squishy little oh, body over here. Sandy, what the fuck? Remember when SpongeBob and Sandy got married? What can I do to help? Why are you even referencing that special? Because I just want to make it plain as day that the game is much better than the special. This is the worst play ever. I didn't even realize this was a play. Alright, so first mission. Throw the acorns into the uh, holes. Because the plug of the water. clearly that makes sense. It's a, it's, a, it's a cartoon for kids. It's a kid's game. Oh, this is a new level. Collect those doubloons. So what weapons do you guys use in Monster Hunter World? And what do you think about it? Putting Ice Sporn. Uh, I tend. I'm more lenient on Sword and Shield, but I tend to use Sword and Shield, Bow, Great Sword. I uh, picked up the Hunting Horn recently. It's fun to knock bitches around with that. I need to play it again. I only play with uh, two weapons. My main weapon, which Andrew just likes to steal my title. I like to be the hunting horn person. I wanted to experiment with weapons, and I understand. I see why you find the hunting horn fun. I don't use it often, though. I let it... my, As for my secondary weapon, I've been using the longsword. I used the longsword for a bit, but then I just got kind of bored of it, and then I sold all my longsword stuff. As for outside of world, uh, in Generations Ultimate, I use my dual blades. Uh, Generations Ultimate, I just also use, I just use Sword and Shield and Greatsword. More on the Sword and Shield side. I'm sorry, I keep saying swords. Sword and Shield, I keep thinking you're talking about Pokemon. <laughs> Silence. No, 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 Will, you don't understand. Game Freak, 
officially answered the long time question of what's considered the best weapon in all of Monster Hunter, and, and according to Game Freak, it's Sword and Shield. Yeah. <laughs> and I have one hole left to plug. And you know who else thinks Sword and Shield's the best weapon in the game? Joe Hat? I thought you were going regular short reference. MY MOM! No, I was not. I Never. I would we do that. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? You know who fight most like SpongeBob games on PlayStation 2? My oh. mom! Can we leave him? <laughs> Sounds like if I joined you guys on a hunt, it'd be fighting, and it'd be like fighting with an orchestra. Eh, yeah. Oh look, Grant you got another top. Yeah. Granted, like I said, I don't use the hunting horn often, but I do enjoy using it when I get to it. Zenogar guitar is my favorite. Just aggressively strumming a guitar just to give out buffs and heals. Honestly, it's, it probably just wants to imagine you cut to the Devil May Cry 3 where that Dante gets that guitar. Yeah, and react, the, the moment you got your Zenogar guitar, you're just like, rock. <laughs> To be honest, I I I did feel like a bit of a rock star. <laughs> right, Only because all also when you play it, it also because when you play it sometimes instead of um blowing into it, the, 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 the character will actually just strum the guitar sometimes. And I think it's absolutely hilarious, and it's my favorite for that reason. Alright, now we could go upstairs and meet Sandy, but um we have some things to do down here first. Dual blade, so if you don't take some information around having those attack on Titan characters. Oh, uh, uh, well, she did go upstairs, but she literally came back. I can see it, but you could also, as Chester Pardon said, me, call yourself Kratos. All those holes in my dome made this place wet Boy. inside then out. I could sure use Boy. something special to spruce up this old tree. I mean, I like to use the bow only because I have a, I have a build of the bow where it's just spam the rocks and... The monster hey, gets Spongebob. KO'd so a bunch, sweet. and part two. Right. Like facts. Like it's a really weird acorn that makes funny noises. There's a random when you fact: the developers of Yakuza series developed the Super Monkey Ball series before working on Yakuza. Yeah, it's Sega. Wow! Isn't this the fanciest doohickey you ever done saw? I can't wait till Yakuza Zero becomes the face of Sega. Just. I kind of want to say a certain dual blades oh, in Jen Ultimate kind of almost cool. look It'll like in a very loose sense of a. Get up here, right? Why? Okay. Now, how do I get on top of that? Wait, is it an acorn, SpongeBob? What is it? It's a pipe ball. <laughs> Yay! Nice. Art. I hope you know where I was going with that, Will. I'm gonna take your silence. Uh, SpongeBob, that's not an acorn. Really? What is it, Sandy? These nuts. <laughs> Get out. No, Will, don't. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Oh. Damn it, Will. Hey, have a good night, Wolf. Alright, first things first, I'm changing in my fishing gear, because I need to. Alright, now for a wheel challenge. Stay on a wheel for a full minute. Oh god, that doesn't sound. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, especially when you have to do platforming in order to get back on top of it again for another try. <laughs> also, welcome back. <clears throat> you hear a little English man's laugh echo in the distance. I have, uh,. Though he's canceling headphones, so probably not. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Sheesh, Will, you suck at Mario Party. Karma. 
And I gotta walk all the way back and platform there again. I love that the text just says, Get back on the wheel, motherfucker. <laughs> Oof. Damn, rated E to T like that. Any fans of manga and anime? Uh, it depends on the manga and or anime. Um, I couldn't make it on your show, but Andrew wouldn't want me to. Well, I know- Oh, I come know... on! I clipped through it! <laughs> you literally clipped through it. Oh my god. That's what you get. Karma. I don't really, I don't want to say I have, I don't have too many favorites. One favorite in particular is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. No, I don't have too many. My Hero Academia. I mean, I like My Hero Academia, just I think its fan bases are cancer though. Anime wise, it's fine. The new opening uh, is a jam. I, I like it. Spongebob suddenly learned instant transmission. <laughs> uh, I'm not leaving until we get this uh, wheel done. I gotta get the wheel uh, done. It's one of the ma mandatory requirements. Oh, by the way, it doesn't help that the camera automatically, like, pans to whatever direction Spongebob's running towards. Yeah. Oh, also, water puddles on top of the wheel. I should be going through it. Good job. Uh, uh, to be honest, most of the fan bases are fucking awful. <laughs> jo yeah, they're not. Yes, awful. JoJo as well. I wanted to. I wanted to, to say the anime That's that the I. That's the only way I could say it with justice. Jo um, most fan bases are fucking awful. Yeah, have you seen the Undertale fandom? I've been. I've been a part of it, and oh my god, the fandom drove me away. Uh, how about the fan base of the cancer game? We don't talk about it. For what? Don't... Exactly. Yeah, yeah, literally. Chad, what did they say? No one speak the game's name. It doesn't deserve to be said. What, Sonic? No. Uh... Star Fox? Will, what's the most popular game right now? That's right. FNAF? What did you say, Will? I didn't hear you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's all I need Fortnite. to say. Damn it, Will! We're trying to oh, avoid... I also said FNAF. So, two FNAF. and one special. FNAF's not as cancerous. It's, it's at least not anymore. After it's died down, I think it's okay. Does it help that Scott's pretty much made a brand new FNAF uh, plot thanks to VR? Uh, FNAF could FNAF could honestly be way worse than it. it's made out to be. I mean, when the creator of the game is a part of your major plot. Yeah, there's Peacher. What was that Peacher thing in Ah. Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate it. I, I don't see a lot of toxicity around Yakuza. Enlighten me. The only thing I'm interested in FNAF in is Yeah, practically every so fan base has what seems to be uh, problem, toxic Sandy. parts right. to them, so... That acorn you gave me is nothing more than a high filled with yeah. angry bees and wasps. Now, so I didn't really care for the, the gameplay. The, the story was the down. only thing. The, 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 the way, the, the way they were running the story is the only thing kind of keeping me somewhat well, paying attention. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, me too. It's the only thing I somewhat paid attention to, but other than that... I mean, I got the... The book trilogy, so. I only got one. I literally have it on the shelf, like with my other uh, stories. I don't have much of any of that. I just have a shelf with a no, bunch of I shit think... on it. 
Okay, yeah, so we need the fishing gear for this. You have to capture all the bees. Uh, insert your Nicolas Cage memes now. Bees. No, it makes me just think of Cards Against Humanity. No, mm, good bees. reference. Bees? bees? And then ejaculating bees, and the bees are angry. Up, Sandy. Shut up, Sandy, you're irrelevant. Honestly, I think World 3 has the easiest uh, letter tiles in the game. Like, honestly, a lot of them you can just uh, get. Because, hold on. I wanna. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, bring down the hive. Uh, catch 10 bees in walks. Yeah, no problem. Because uh, the jellyfish are replaced with bees. Not the bees. Not the memes. Oh no, falling! Which is a death. I don't Man. know why, since you can just, you know, float to the ground. Nope. Death. Well, it looks like you didn't even try to go back to that leaf. It looks like you just gave up. I'm look ready to give up. This game's bad. I'm ready. Then why did you break it? Uh, by the way, in every subsection of the game, there should always be a uh, changing tent. You just have to find it. And now I'm at the uh, doubloon quota. So I don't have to worry about the balloons anymore. Yay, I love hearing Sandy's tree dome music. Oh, there's a the hive. Too bad I, uh... I think I need to slam it down, actually. Yep. Not down the it goes! Not the bees! Not the memes! Uh, well, that hive is out of your tree, so, um, no hard feelings. Right. That's a good start, but now I've got all these stinging varmints flying around here. Man, this new banjo kazooie game Round is looking up. really good. Do a what good was job, that last area I called? Even have a reward for you. Click Clockwood. Thank you. Clock Clock? No. You're right. That's a dumb name. Yeah, I can't think of anything better. <laughs> you, you've already committed to this game. The only way to move without being the game is to take your chances with the perfume department. <laughs> that whole scenario. <laughs> this oh is why God. they wish I had a green screen. For clarity's sake, who's who? Well, Will's the one playing. Wait, I'm playing the game. And me and Peach are just here, just talking. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to fucking do this. <laughs> You're doing fine. So Will's PS2 man, yes, correct. Yeah, no joke. He's actually playing a PS2 game. The man part is questionable, though. Oh. Is, is he? Is he really a man? PS2 boy. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else with that. I got real nervous. Will, I could have easily, but I'm not going to do you like that, okay? Will, you're still a kid. <laughs> you're a kid. I thought it was a squid. a squid. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Did you just Spongebob meme me? I guess. Peach is the only female here, to my knowledge. Wait, 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 what? Chester, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. That's, that's, that's Chester, it. what have you done? That's the easiest way to put it. <laughs> Unless oh, Will no, wants to suddenly sure be like, ah, I'm a woman. PS2 woman. Actually, I'm not a woman. I'm a horse. I'm a horse. 
Actually, I'm not a horse. I'm really a broom. Wait, quick. Let's do the Mortal Kombat uh, highlights again. Uh, Pichu, turn-ons, RPGs, and uh, grinding. Turn-offs. Scrubs. I thought the turn-offs was Smash Bros. tier list. <laughs> oh, even better. Not even close. Oh, yeah. Uh, Smash tier list and newbies. Well, did not I even, record? Not even close. <laughs> Let's not bring this back again. It was a one-time thing. We all had our fun with it. Um, says the video game industry when they're not money hungry. <laughs> well, there's a difference between inside jokes that we do and the video game industry. Uh, like, um... Will, turn on. It's getting way too focused in this game. Turn on. He can't listen. <laughs> Are they listening? It's just selective. That, that doesn't prove your point, bud. Well, I'm sorry. Sometimes they focus too much on gameplay and I die. Sometimes you just accept shitty programming. Belgian waffles turns off includes bacon omelets. Ha! Joke's on you. Will doesn't eat any of that shit. No, he's talking about Life is Strange. Get with the times, man. Get with the times, shut the fuck up. Well, why is life strange? Um, because a game company that uh, developed Remember Me thought they could do better in storytelling, so they decided to focus all their efforts on Life is Strange, and that's where they are now. So how long have you guys been, been streaming slash recording game footage? For quite a while. Well, me, I want to say more so me, me and Will. Um, let's see. Um... Te technically, based on my old channel, uh, we don't talk about. We're on five years. In your tree dome, Sandy. The old that channel, you know, the one we don't talk about. <laughs> the way you used to do countdowns when you first started. Ah, uh, yes, the wonderful countdowns of a PowerPoint presentation. Fast. <laughs> With a camera pointed at your Mac computer. Did you fall again? Yep. God damn it. Help! <laughs> All sea sponges should have. Ah! Oh! <laughs> there goes the joke. Six feet on. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, it's more so a streaming uh, highlight channel. Though. Which other YouTubers do I watch? I have a, I, I don't really have much of anything in particular. Just as long as the content's good, I'll watch it. And if it includes my hobbies. Me, I have a YouTube channel. It exists. I'll put a lot on it. I'm just lazy, but I stream. Probably should still well, get on that. Match and I've some new moves. <laughs> SpongeBob has models and animations. Who would have guessed? All this junk in my treehouse. The one who breaks the most stuff when time runs out is the winner. Now here are some advanced moves. Hold the duck button, then press the action button to strike in all directions. You got all that? Ready, set, go! Yeah! <laughs> Bill's dying, boys. I'm not dying. You can't die in the party match. But you can die. <laughs> you can't die in the game, but you can die in real life. Dying on the inside, though. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but gamers have many lives. <laughs> but if you die outside of your game, you don't respond. Game over. Forever. I thought we were playing a Lego game! Uh, yeah, you don't bust into studs, my boy. <laughs> And 
my score is 42 to 44. Cutting it a little close there, huh? Uh, no, I'm sorry, 44 to 24. And I win! Look at that! I'm already getting the next treasure. How did you fuck that up? I saw... Well, ten, I didn't say the final score. Uh, I went from 42 to 44 points. And Sandy was at 24 points, so... That's why I said 42 to 44. Um, yeah, let's see. As far as me, uh, SGP Super Gaming Brothers, without a doubt. And, uh, Ashima Hunter. I just kind of watch, like, whatever. Alright, here we go! More games inside SpongeBob's fucking brain. Alright, why and <laughs> Sandy's here, too. Uh, Sandy. the area around SpongeBob changes depending on the what level. Sandy, who let you in? You did. Alright, time to find some treasure. Bring it around town. Is that what he just did? Yep. SpongeBob, what's wrong with your eyes? Good lord. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to think about the Jimmy Neutron uh, tying game. <laughs> Alright, let's go find some treasure! Let's not and say we did. Uh, we have to. Plot. Fuck. Who's your favorite SGB member? Oh. That one. Yeah, that one guy who talks in the microphone. You guys know the one, right? How's that phone, by the way? <laughs> the Bane of Elliot's Honey Pop experience. Here's a treasure. Alright, last time was a sock. This time it's... Dentures. That's sure that up. All these treasures are just JPEGs. Um. Hmm. Like they're not even real treasures. He just holds up pig He just holds up to JPEGs to fucking the flying Dutchman. He's just like, yeah, those are mine. <laughs> Is this your card? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Is this? Oh. Are, are, Squidward, Sorry, not Squidward. Over. You Are you the flying you Dutchman? Yes. Bye, Squidward. I buy I want. I just yep. Bye, Squidward. Have fun. Another member for my ghostly crew. But Squidward's like, as long as I'm not near SpongeBob, I'm fine. Dutchman is only supposed to take the ones who disturb his rest. But that little snail feller is working out so well, and my old crew is so lazy. Can't we overlook? Just this once. Just think how According nice to my book about an evil spirit, it's not supposed to go and disturb his rest. Wants ghostly crew. Does that mean he. Uh. <laughs> Can't we overlook the world kiss, just kiss, once? Kiss, kiss. I like how they even mention the fact he's been reading the book about evil spirits. I think it's absolutely hilarious. There are some decent moments in the game, I will admit, but. The rest I'm probably supposed to decide to rest tonight, because now we're in his bedroom. When did I fall asleep? You didn't. It's just all a figment of your imagination. Does anyone have a quarter? The whole dream sequence. Alright. For Peach's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save after I uh, get this loan screw done. <laughs> We're not done yet, I'm just saving. Alright, what are we supposed to do with this? I completely forget. 
Let's see. We're, we just got down with City Stream, though. We can't go back to downtown yet. We don't have a bus pass for... Oh, that's right. We need the fishing gear. Luckily, there's a changing tent right here. And now we have a jellyfish jellyfish fields bus ticket. Off the jellyfish fields. Took longer than expected. I just had to collect the jellyfish that had just happened to have the bus ticket on them. You just so happened to have. Yikes. I wanted her opinion on jellyfish fields. Oh, there's nothing like a little playtime in jellyfish fields to make everything right again. <sighs> okay. Jellyfish like fields, again. where you're going to be collecting the most amount of jellyfish. And was one of the most ridiculous side quests in the game. Not side quests, but I guess main quests. It sucks, just like the rest of the game. No, you have no idea. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't, because none of the models loaded in. I only know through um, videos and such. Oh, red jellyfish. Uh, they I forgot about red jellyfish. They attack you, and then run away. Yeah. Notice how I'm taking time to collect the jellyfish. That's gonna be one of your main objectives. Uh, if I could pull up the to-do list. We have a jellyfishing competition. Yay. We also have to yeah. get 225 doubloons. So, needless to say, we may or may not be finishing jellyfish fields. Oh, and your doubloons don't carry over in the levels. You have to collect the doubloons in each part. Mine. Alright. I just need to find where I'm going. I think I just did. So I have to admit, just on this near two hours, what, are you, what is everyone's thoughts on the game so far? Still as garbage as people remember it. A work of art. There you are! A work of art. I was hoping to get your opinions on this area. Help. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, that's about right. Look, everyone's playing in jellyfish fields, including that random guy who, for some reason, isn't going anywhere in the water. Oh, he knows there's some shit in the water. But, Andrew, he's in front of two kids. Yeah. Uh, I can explain. Uh, no, that's that kid right there. He's all I was water just too. thinking of- I was just thinking about that, to be honest. Am I the only one who really twice. wants? Am I really the only one who really wants to hear his explanation? I'm really concerned. Uh, I'm really. Oh, like, I want to hear his explanation. We just can't do it because of uh. Nick, 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 Nick. Now, the, best part, again. the best moment was the character of the infamous for my leg, and he got his own episode, and we actually get to see his fucking face. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like feel <laughs> bad the for part... him in that episode. No, my favorite is just SpongeBob's reaction. It's like this is his job. I love when they give side, like, weird, like, side gag characters, like, their own bits of lore and what they actually do. It's, it's really hilarious. They've been doing that a lot recently. 
As long the as hardest one see. is the true canonical old man Jake. Yeah, because there's so many the of bottom, them. But you need a special bus ticket that also works for the ferry. And I don't think an employee of Mr. Krabs <laughs> is going to get one of those from I me. I think it's hilarious how they just keep switching them up and, 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 and like people are just like, 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 I gave special instructions to all my chum world clowns not to give <laughs> so you a It's the little things that keep you awake at oh, night. and if you see one of my clowns here in Jellyfish Fields, tell him to stop fooling around and get back to work! Run, Plankton, run! Run! This isn't Creature from the Krusty Krab yet. There's no uh, giant uh, oversized crab uh, 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 Oh, you're just gonna run in circles? You're just gonna just gonna run around me? Are you getting your exercise blanket? Don't you push me! Hey! We're not done here yet! You let a little fucking two centimeter fucking Yeah, you you let it you let a two centimeter bean fucking push you around. Well, again, Spongebob is kind of a pushover. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> it's my birthday, why aren't you getting all the gifts? <laughs> Said Jesus. <laughs> that is the one joke everyone remembers Mark for, and oh my god, that joke no, still no, dude, is great. for me, the current is Resident Evil 4. Snake uh, I'm not bitch. seeing that. Oh, you need to fully watch their Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. Mark is the main highlight, as I mentioned when someone did an actual highlight of that. I can yes. do a highlight of it. No. It's been done. Uh, then that doesn't stop me. My, one of, like, my, my favorite line is when the snake comes out of the box and Mark just goes, Snake my bitch! <laughs> I randomly quoted on a cape. My, my favorite is just the fact that just about everyone except Matt can just get away with the uh, Spanish accent. <laughs> yeah. And, and the whole fluent, the fluent language. Meanwhile, Matt just can't do it. I like how in the beginning bit they translated some of what they're, uh, some bits of what they're saying. And to be fair, it's actually the true, the that's actually the full translation okay? of what the dude's oh, actually nice saying. Sponge, He's yeah. you out. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Patrick, your subtitles are green. What the fuck are you doing here? I sure wish someone could get it out of my belly. That's three times. That's three different colors. My other one is when they kill uh, Gigante and, right, and time Johnny. For a race. And Johnny's just shooting the Gigante in the butt. And he's like, don't cornhole the Gigante. Well, I feel a lot better. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, look, there's another one. <laughs> Did you hit Patrick in the stomach and he just spewed out a... Yep. <laughs> And you have to beat him in a race. Patrick, I need that Which to Which I have easily done. Mine! Bye, Patrick! Did you speed? Yeah, did he just what? walk? Yeah, once you're done, he just walks back. After you go, he went slightly fast for like a split second. <laughs> also, why is he being a, sh a little shit about this, Patrick? I need, I need those to get things. Oh, fucking curse! Joe, but, oh. uh, uh, Joey has some ideas for boss remixes. Uh, can I listen to those as well, Joey? Oh God, damn it! Uh, uh, I did it for Metroid Prime. I guess I can do it for RE4. What do you got? Oh, no. Also, you better make sure I get this written down. <laughs> you mean you have to write it down? Hey. Yeah. I I did. I mostly completed the Jack and Daxter highlights based on uh, Mephilus's request. So. Yeah. You didn't do my request on the uh, shitty last highlight that you did. Uh, what? The intro. I put it the intro. I'm sorry! 
least it made it made him double check the the next I one. I double check again. blood stain, okay? <laughs> now say it like you mean it, Dario. Um Big jellyfish, you get back here. I died from his electric vortex! That's what you get? I should be- I should... Karma, bitch! Alright, this is a challenge. You have to stay on the giant jellyfish. Unfortunately, he's gonna try and trick you. Oh, you baited. I wonder if SGB were to do Yakuza, would they start at PS2 Yakuza or Yakuza Zero? I, I hope not Zero. Even entirely yes. sure if they would even do Yakuza at all. That's also true. I think yeah, Elliot brought up. Oh, is it this area or is it a different area? I think it's a different even, area. Like, joking yeah, aside, let's is say they do. Mouth, who would technically you be just jealous that some of us find zero. better snacks than no, you? No, I did, to be honest. I don't even really think they even mention Yakuza all that often. I think it's a different area I have to do the jellyfish challenge. Let's move on. I, now. I see it as a bad game. <laughs> oh, oh, how no, much it's here. They... I remember now. Okay. Uh, the question would be how much could they get away with the uh, video? Yeah. Ah, just a flash. flash. Wait, my dude. You're swimming with your pants on. Don't judge them well. Also, can you go back to those NPCs? Look at how derpy they look. They, they again, they just look Duh. like. They look so bad. They're so lifeless. <laughs> like, that dude looks like he's Honestly. literally. I just want to just keep looking at it. Honestly, this doesn't really feel like jellyfish fields, I'm gonna be honest. This really doesn't feel like jellyfish fields. Wait, when did you spoil me on anything, Yakuza Zero? I don't remember. Chester, I'm gonna need you to cut off your middle finger. Well, realistically, I don't even remember what, what he quote-unquote showed me. You're gonna have to cut off your middle finger just to prove how loyalty you are to me. Like for the uh, village chief, his boss team could be both Leon's escape team and Mr. X boss. Oh, so let's see in the remake. Uh... Chester, I'm gonna need you to cut off your. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that spiteful. Ah, but well, don't you remember rockets? It's like I need his eye. I, I really need. His eye. Mm. <laughs> I I treat my spoilers like I treat Team Rocket. We're blasting off again. Twinkle. So what you're saying is spoilers are a joke to you. Ah, uh, no. He just tends to forget them right as he sees them. Yep. So they're a joke to you. You didn't even you didn't even make it to that, that ledge wheel. Well. What the fuck? Oh, I almost missed the destination. You guys have a Discord server? I do. Will does. I do. Uh, not. I don't really use it though, except uh, for people who want to talk to each other. I I, I say things occasionally, but not enough to say it's a real server. Andrew has one though. Andrew, if you want to link it, you have my permission. Okay. Give me two seconds. You gotta actually get the the instant invite thing. Where's the link? 
By the way, our first mission was supposed to be talk to some guy called Rusty. We haven't even talked to him yet. Yeah, where the fuck is this Rusty dude? He's in the first area, but I ignored him. Rusty? Like, Rusty Bucket Bay? You'll see him later. Here you go, actually. Yeah, this is the jellyfish uh, challenge, I remember. Oh, but first, I almost forgot to do this part. We have to climb up the mountain and beat a boss. Well, uh, not really boss, but... Okay, it's a I get clown! It. Yeah, you must Joey wants clown. you to Sometimes use a Resident Evil 2 hey, buddy, music don't for the boss fights. Saw me today, okay? I don't want to get what? in trouble. Maybe we can make he wants you to use Resident Evil 2 music for the Resident Evil 4 boss fights. If you give me your bus ticket to Chum World. Give you my Why? bus ticket, then I would be in real trouble. But I'll tell you what. Because straight. if you're you playing can as Leon, me, then you can have the ticket. Ah, okay. How about if hey, I look I at the bosses, Here's your then I'll decide. And the if I want to do something bottom. else, I'll use Resident Evil 2 music for the intro. I gotta find a new line of work. Cause when it when uh, Jack and Dexter was recommended for Metroid Prime, I had to look at it for a second, and I could agree with that. But as far as Resident Evil, I don't know. As a Resident Evil Two fanatic, I'd say some can work. My curiosity is bonus points if you can put the uh, final tune of uh, Perkin. Well, I know next to nothing about Resident Evil 4, so... All I know is, uh, uh some handler guy is very popular. No, no, Will, you're forgetting the most important information about what you need to know about Resident Evil 2. What are you It's about... Oh, wait, sorry, Resident Evil 2? No, no, Will. It's, uh, it's, it's into many port consoles as Sonic 1. Oh. I thought it was Leon! You know, people say that, and yet the real truth is that it's really not hard to guide her to a dumpster. It really isn't. I feel like people just do it for the meme. They just no, really because that's the negative opinion. Her. The negative opinion, you're more popular than the positive opinions. I'm right. Uh, I'm not gonna respond to that. Interrupt my story again, Reggie, see what happens. That's two letter tiles down! And I'm in the water. Let's get some doubloons while we're here. We're at 106 doubloons. Only 200. Uh, only two. It's a to go. Anyway, right, well, I'm noticing a little interesting fact about this. Notice how that quote unquote river, if you want to call it, you can stay on there fine, but any other puddles or lakes, you can't even. Just travel. Oh, I know. And I think that's everything in this area I want to do. So, yeah. Uh, the escape aspect is not as bad as a lot of people think it out to be. Really not, especially Boris case. Honestly, I would almost recommend just inserting the uh, Super Metroid escape sound. Uh. So, one thing while well, we're on the topic of Resident Evil 4. So, one thing I had my friend do when he showed up to my house while I was playing Resident Evil 4, I handed him the controller and I told him to shoot the water. And he <gasps> obviously guessed what oh. all through. Um. I, sca I scared him. Okay. Shitless. Uh, it's, okay, to explain, it's an Easter egg. Will, uh, have you seen Jaws? Jaws? Yeah. Oh, oh. That's why I know an exactly Easter where that's going. Mm -hmm. I made, I made him. I handed him the controller. I said, "Do this and that. Shoot the water." And I scared the shit out of him. I put it on full blast right behind him too. You. <laughs> The insta yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. Oh my god. Bosses from Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 6. 
Wait, there's a six game? Uh. No. Um, uh, really? There's a sixth game? I didn't know. Are you, are you serious, Will? I pray he's Come on, Re Resident Evil is one of great games. How can it be a sixth are, game? Are you serious? People know the best game is five. You, are, you jo are you joking with me, Will? I'm sure he is. Rusty! Hey there, young fella. You here for the jellyfishing competition? Jellyfishing competition? That sounds like fun. Tell me more, old timer. My name is Rusty Scuffer, and the competition is sponsored by my. Oh, he found Rusty. Oh, wait. That's the first not even original. Sponge to gather 100 jellyfish and bring them back here is the winner. Does the winner get a Okay, so yeah. Notice how he said a hundred jellyfish. The winner can choose whichever one he wants. That is except for the race. That's stand. collected from every single other anymore. world. Now get out there and start catching some jellyfish. So yeah, a hundred jellyfish game total. Uh, now how do I check? It's a lot. I forgot, is there a way that... I think there's a way to check how many... Game total. Oh, there it is. Yeah! I'm at 67. I need to have 100 total. You're saying you already got past 66? I already have 67 total. So, I would need... guess what I'm not completing right now? The game. Next time. <laughs> Sounds good. It takes oh, he's being serious. I just gotta get back to Bikini Bottom. Spongebob sounds like Wayne Cramp. Nah, that, that, that's... I don't know. The, he's voiced by Tom Kenny. Wayne Cramp's an, an interesting comparison, though. Will, did you think Capcom went straight from Resident Evil 5 to 7? I'm going with the supposed joke that Resident Evil 6 is the worst in the series, okay? I know there's a 6th entry. I saw the Switch Direct! Just 6? What? You mean there's other bad games than Resident Evil 6? Oh Fine. my god. I don't recall meeting exactly a hundred jellyfish. I remember something breaking the fence and how was that for breaking the snail's back? Um, like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I don't know much about this game. Alright, so, I'm gonna say first and foremost. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's part one. God, it's, I feel like I've been just sitting here for years. I feel old. <laughs> well, um... That's how slow pace this fucking game is. I think you only have to do that two more times, because, uh... I don't think this game's too long. I mean... Well, that's a bright side. Basically, we already made it to uh, World 4. And I think there's seven worlds total. Wayne Champ is voiced by... Wait, oh wait, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne, Ch Wayne Cramp is voiced by Tom Kelly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I feel like I'm going to be lecturing on Resident Evil. Bye, everyone.